Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. Today we're gonna take off the front end off of this E46. It's a 2001 BMW 330i. This is for anybody that needs to take off the front end off of pretty much any E46. We're gonna take off the headlights, the front bumper cover, the impact bar. We're gonna take that off as pretty much the whole assembly. Also the front radiator support, it's, that's what the impact bar and bumper are attached to. This car does have an aftermarket front bumper. It's an M3 bumper cover uh, made for the sedan. And uh, it's gonna be le relatively uh, easy, much more, it's gonna be simpler to take off the bumper off of here than it would be a normal E46 because they have a bunch of push pin tabs and stuff uh, attached to it. But I mean, if you take off the whole assembly as one, you can always take off the bumper afterwards and you'll be able to tell where all the tabs are. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and show you an overview. These two are two of the bolts that are holding the radiator support. These two are holding the headlight. There's two more underneath uh, that are attached to the actual radiator support. You can get like there's a headlight support that attaches to the radiator support and you can access those two screws from behind the headlight. So we'll, we're going to do it that way. Same with both these. These are just little tabs that you just pop off. I'll show you how to do that. And this is the air box. And I mean this is what holds the radiator into the radiator support. These little two tabs are two screws, plastic screws. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so here are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a socket, wrench extensions, a 10 millimeter socket. I don't have a 13 millimeter socket here, but a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, you could get another quarter inch or any other one that you can use a eight millimeter socket with, more extensions. And then this is to remove the fender, which uh, this might not be in this, in this video exactly. A 10 millimeter wrench and a bunch of screwdrivers. I would get one of each pretty much. This is just a pick for any push pin tabs that we encounter. So let's go ahead and take off the headlight first. All right, so this car is pre-facelift car, it's the 2001. Uh, the facelift started between 02 up until about 05 to 06. So on pre-facelift, the way to remove the corner light is uh, different than the facelift. The facelift only has a Phillips screw that you, uh, that you have to loosen, and you just pull out the corner light. On here you have to, there's a hole right here, and there's a tab inside that you have to push down, and this will just pull right out, like I'll show you right now. Just like that. And then just unhook the connector. You just gotta push this tab down, and when you push it down, it'll release it, and you just pull it right out. Go ahead and take off this air box. Uh, as you can see, there's three tabs that are, that are holding this in. This is just the front air dam, pretty much. So now, basically, to get this little joint off of this air box, uh, there's one tab here and there's two tabs on the other side. You just gotta get all these tabs popped out. Well, you just pop, you push them in and that's how they pop out. Just like that. You see right here? Two tabs on this side and one tab on this side. Next, we're gonna take off the airbox cover. Uh, pretty much, they're just little, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like little clamps, pretty much. You pop them up from the bottom and then you get this little uh, metal piece to come off. And there's like about one, two, three, four. There's about five of them. So just get them all off. This one's the most complicated one right here on this side next to the oil dipstick. In order to remove, this is the mass airflow sensor. In order to remove it from the airbox, there's two clamps that hold it. One right there. One's right there. Just like that, you just pop them further away from where it's going. And same thing on the other side. Lift up and just slide out. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking this air box off. You really do not have to take it off if you're just taking the front end off. But for me, it makes it a lot easier to access some of the bolts for the headlight in the back. And it just like, it helps me see everything that's going on. To take off the rest of the air box, you have to have a 10 millimeter socket. And just, you, there's two bolts that hold it right here. Just take that off. So once you have the two bolts out of the air box, what you're gonna do, you're gonna see most, most of the E46s have it. It's like a little air duct that goes between the headlight and the radiator. Uh, and just, you just gotta be careful when you're taking it off. Make sure, make sure it doesn't get bent. 
See, mine popped out. All right, so now you can see how much more space we have to see everything. There's a bolt right here, and there's another one right in this corner right here. You can see right where my finger's pointing. Those are the two bolts that are holding the headlight to the headlight support, and then the headlight support is attached to the radiator support. It's gonna be a lot easier to get to the bolt between this gap between the headlight and the radiator support. Try to use magnetic sockets, that way you don't drop the bolt. All right, so I just got this bolt out as well. This one and the one that was inside. Now what you have to do is, if you see this trim, it's gonna be different if you have a facelift. Between the air dam and the headlight, there's this little tab that goes right there. So you just have to, you have to pop in the little things, so that way you can pull it out. And it helps to use like a flathead or something. Once you have that out, then you just pull it out. There's tabs that are all underneath the headlight. Just like that. All right, now just disconnect all the headlight, uh, the headlight connectors and whatnot. And voila, the headlight's out. All right, now we got the, both of the headlights out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook this radiator, uh, the two bolts that are holding the radiator in. All these two bolts do is they just keep the radiator closer to the support, so that way they don't hit the fan or whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and remove both of these, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and take off all three of these nuts. That you can see, this is what holds the whole front assembly to the frame rails. There's one, two, three right there. And then same with this side, one, two, three. And if you have fog lights or whatnot, go ahead and disconnect the fog lights. The horns, they're on both sides. If you have fender liners, usually they break, but if you do have your fender liners in, basically what fender liners are, they pretty much line this whole section up from right here and attach to the bumper. And we're gonna go ahead and remove both of the fender liners and all the covers that are underneath the car, like the engine covers and all that, that are attached directly to the bumper. And once that's off, we can go ahead and pull the whole assembly off. One more thing that you are gonna have to disconnect is the wire that goes to the hood latch. It, and on all E46s, is hooked up right here. Let me go ahead and disconnect, I'll show you guys how to do it. Be careful not to scratch your fender. You see, just like that, it pops off. Now, if you look inside of here, if you look inside of here, this is the wire that goes to the cabin, and this is the wire that goes to the hood latch. We have to just pop this whole section off, or we can just pop off this wire, either way, Whichever one works out easier for you. For me, what I always do is I just pop off this wire, the one that goes to the cabin, and I just pop this whole unit off from the actual fender, uh, fender support. All right, so watch me do that right quick. Just like that, you see how it popped out from right here? I bent mine a little bit, but these wires are really tough, so it's not a big deal. And it just pops out from right there, and this part goes with the hood latches. These are the headlight supports I had mentioned earlier. As you can see, it bolts right into the radiator support, and the two screws for this is right here, and another one right there on the other side. I went ahead and took out the three nuts that were here. Oh, see, I left these washers and go ahead and take those washers off as well so we don't lose them. Unhooked the horn, the fog lights, uh, there's also another sensor that goes there. Just unhook every wire that you see going to it. Once you have all these washers and whatnot off, then go ahead and take off these two bolts that are up here. These are the final bolts that are holding the whole front end to the uh, car. There's two on here, two on this side, and these three nuts on this one as well. So after that's done, and nothing else is hooked up to the bumper, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull the whole front end off. One other thing I forgot to mention is make sure you go ahead and unhook this connector, this big one right here. This is for the auxiliary fan that's all the way in the front that comes out with the radiator support. So make sure you unhook that. That's the whole front end. All right, so that's how you remove the front end. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few videos on how to remove the uh, fenders and whatnot. That's gonna be a separate video. I'll put links in the description. But that's how you remove the front end. If you guys have any questions, if you feel like I did anything wrong or if I left anything out, please feel free to comment. And next video, I'll go ahead and try to make that better. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. Have a good day.